Hi everybody, welcome to the Health How To channel where we talk about some great life hacks and easy tips to achieve better health. In this video, we're talking about how to fix hand and finger pain, where first we talk about why we get hand and finger pain, and then we'll get into 49 tips and tricks to cure hand and finger injuries. Watch until the end where we'll talk about which foods to eat to help reduce pain and inflammation. Please like, subscribe, and share your best tips that you have found to be super helpful for fixing your hand and finger pain in the comment section below. If you have someone in your life who you want to help, please share this video with them too. Also, remember that this video is purely for informational purposes and does not in any way replace any advice given by your own healthcare providers. If the exercises or information suggested aggravate your condition, please stop and ask your healthcare provider for further direction. So first, let's get into the most common hand conditions that cause hand and finger pain. Trigger finger, also known as Dupuytren's contracture, is when scar tissue and adhesions form within the tendon, causing them to get stuck in the tunnel they move through when you make a fist. You can get pain and a lump in your palm. Usually the ring and baby fingers are most commonly affected. What tends to happen is that once you make a fist, the ring finger gets stuck and you have to pull the finger up to straighten it. People most commonly affected are middle-aged males, diabetics, smokers, or it can be hereditary. Arthritis. Big, swollen knuckles and crooked fingers are hallmarks of advanced arthritis. There are several types of arthritis, but most commonly you can see osteoarthritis at the base of the thumb, which is when repetitive use of the thumb leads to wearing away of the protective covering of the bones known as cartilage. Inflammatory arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, or gout, is a disorder of your body's immune system. Inflammatory arthritis tends to affect several joints in both hands and can go through cycles of flare-ups. De Quervin syndrome is an inflammation of the tendons at the base of your thumb. It's quite a painful thumb and wrist injury from repetitive twisting of the wrist, angling the wrist up and down, swiping your screen with your thumb, or pinching. People who are hairdressers, gamers, new parents, golfers, musicians, artists, and gardeners can often get De Quervin's tendonitis. Carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome happens when a nerve near the palm gets pinched in a tunnel near the base of your hand. You can think of a nerve like a wire or cable. If you pinch it for too long or bend it over and over again, the signal on the other side will be disrupted or weakened. In the case of your fingers, you'll feel tingling, numbness, and or weakness in your thumb, index, and middle fingers. You can feel carpal tunnel syndrome tingling, especially after you've been holding something like a mouse or tool for a long time, after you've been putting weight through the wrist and hand like during push-ups, and in the morning after you've had your wrist curled up through the night. Jammed fingers. A jammed finger can happen when you've fallen or caught the ball on your finger while playing sports. It usually happens at the middle knuckle of the finger and can look and feel swollen and stiff. When the finger is forcibly bent by impact, the ligaments that surround the joint to keep it stable are overstretched. Did you know that wrist and hand injuries from work account for the longest absences, disability, and lost productivity? Repetitive strain of your fingers can come from occupations that use their hands a lot like computer workers, mechanics, construction workers, hairdressers, assembly workers, and massage therapists. Even working in cold conditions like the freezer or outdoors in the winter can cause long-term hand pain and stiffness. A lot of the previous hand injuries mentioned will share the same rehabilitation goals and steps for treatment. Step one, reduce pain and swelling. Step two, increase movement. Step three, increase your grip and finger strength. Step four, increase your finger coordination known as dexterity. And the last most important step for fixing hand and finger injuries, step five, celebrate your success with a well-deserved non-painful high five. So here are 49 tips to help yourself fix 
your hand and finger pain with those rehabilitation steps in mind. Tip number one, rest your hands. Sometimes the first step is to avoid doing anything you don't absolutely have to do with your hands. This step alone can be one of the hardest things for anybody to do. Two, use voice to text instead of typing. Three, download an app or extension on your device that reads to you so you don't need to scroll with your mouse or fingers. Number four, cut your food in bite-sized pieces with a sharp chef's knife. Number five, microwave harder root vegetables like potatoes or squash first before cutting. Number six, do batch cooking so that it minimizes how many times a day you have to make meals. Number seven, do one pot meals with an instant pot or crock pot to reduce cleanup. Number eight, wear slip on shoes. Velcro is your friend. Number nine, embrace the COVID uniform of loose shirts and elastic waistbands. Number 10, use your forearm to open lever doors and turn on taps. Number 11, if you knit or crochet, consider making your stitches a little looser so that you aren't applying so much force with each repetitive stitch. Number 12, slide objects rather than lifting. Number 13, push objects rather than pulling. Number 14, since degeneration or repetitive strain over a long period of time is one of the main reasons that you get finger and hand arthritis, it makes sense to be proactive about your self-care. Even if you aren't experiencing discomfort, you should rest or break up your movement for five minutes every hour that you are working, writing, typing, mousing, or gaming. Using a notification app or timer on your phone or smartwatch works much better than relying on yourself to keep an eye on the clock. Number 15, loosen up your grip and avoid using unnecessary strength for things such as cutting, pruning, tightening jars, turning doorknobs, or holding tools and pens. Number 16, try to use the other hand as much as possible to balance out your physical activities. Consider using your non-dominant hand for things like drinking, mousing, putting away dishes, and holding your phone. Your brain will get a good workout too. Number 17, keep your nails trimmed if you type a lot or play piano so that you are using the pads of your fingers. Number 18, use the right tools to make your job physically easier. Number 19, use padded gloves with rubber grips to reduce vibration and grip force needed. Number 20, pad your steering wheel to keep it warm in the winter and is more comfortable to grip. Number 21, throw out pens that don't write smoothly and scissors that don't cut well. Number 22, use the side of your fingers when playing bar chords on guitar. Use your other arm to push the guitar with your fingers. Number 23, use a rubber jar gripper to open jars and bottles. Number 24, wrap a foam pipe insulator around the steering wheel and tools and walkers. Number 25, buy utensils with larger rubber grip handles to help you eat more comfortably. Tip number 26, buy an extra long shoehorn to help you get your shoes on. Number 27, elevate your hands on a pillow. Tip number 28, if your pain is unbearable, do consider taking an over-the-counter anti-inflammatory if you don't have stomach, kidney, or heart conditions. Anti-inflammatories can help with joint stiffness, inflammation, and arthritis symptoms. Examples include aspirin, Advil, Motrin, and Aleve. You can try acetaminophen such as Tylenol, which mainly helps to decrease pain. Number 29, wear a thumb spica splint to protect the thumb. It's a brace that you slide your thumb into that keeps it straight and can provide some relief from inflamed tendon and ligament sprains. Don't wear it all the time because your thumb joint can get too stiff. Tip number 30, finger splints help with jammed fingers or arthritis in the fingers. Finger splints can help support the joints by taking some of the pressure off. Number 31, Buddy taping is when you tape an injured finger to the non-injured finger beside it. It can be useful right after a sports injury or fall if you think you've broken it. Try taping it to the, to the finger that doesn't need to move that much, such as the ring or pinky fingers. 
As a side note, buddy taping the thumb doesn't tend to work that well. And don't tape your fingers too tightly so that it cuts off your circulation. Try compression gloves to keep the swelling down and your hands warm. They come in different sizes with or without fingertips for those who can't put their phones down and with rubber grips. There are even compression gloves that are warm and vibrate. If your hand pain wakes you up at night or your fingers are really stiff in the morning, try wearing compression gloves at night. Number 32. Apply a towel covered ice pack for swelling in your hands and fingers for about 20 minutes, one to three times per day. Tip number 33, use a microwavable heating pad or heated gloves for hand stiffness for about 20 minutes, one to three times per day. Number 34, for carpal tunnel syndrome, I highly recommend using wrist night splints to prevent your wrist from curling under and pinching the nerve. Try fingerless gloves as a liner under the brace if you find the brace rubs up too much against your bones. Number 35, use the eraser tip on a pencil to massage the small muscles of your hand. Number 36, use a golf ball to roll away thumb pain or pain in the palm. Number 37, use a highlighter like a mini foam roller. Number 38, exercise. Although moving too much can hurt your hands, a lot of the times the pain will eventually go down when you practice your finger movements regularly. Number 39, spread out your fingers wide. Number 40, do thumb circles clockwise and counterclockwise. Number 41, touch the tips of your fingers with your thumb. Number 42, push your fingers backward. Number 43, squeeze your hand into a fist with your other hand. Number 44, pretend each finger is a finger puppet. Don't forget to say red rum with each repetition. Number 45, multitask when you are washing your hands by doing 20 repetitions in cold or hot water. Number 46, strengthen your grip with a stress ball or by wringing a wet towel. Number 47, Strengthen your pinching movement by pinching your favorite family member or child. Just kidding. You can try Play-Doh or even better, bake so that there is a tasty reward after you exercise. Number 48. Wrap an elastic around your fingers and try to open your fingers against the resistance. And number 49. Do eat an anti-inflammatory diet if you have inflammatory arthritis that compromises the immune system such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, or psoriatic arthritis. An anti-inflammatory diet includes A, omega-3 found in fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, walnuts, and flax seeds. B, leafy greens like spinach and kale. C, berries like blueberries, strawberries, and blackberries. D, olive oil, but keep the temperature around 325 Fahrenheit to avoid creating dangerous trans fat at a higher cooking temperature. E. Avoid vegetable or seed oils like soybean, canola, grapeseed, and margarine. F. Do eat nuts and seeds. G. Curcumin or turmeric and ginger. H. Whole vegetables and fruits with edible skins or their fiber content. Note that juicing or smoothies do not provide the same benefits as the blender blades shred the important fibrous matrix of the whole vegetable or fruit. I. Avoid highly processed foods like cookies, chips, ice cream, hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, fries, soda, and sports drinks. J. Avoid a high intake of processed carbs like bread, pasta, and baked goods. K. Limit your alcohol. L. Avoid added sugar, including so-called natural sugars like honey, maple syrup, and agave. M. Consider limiting nightshade foods like tomatoes, eggplant, potatoes, and peppers, which some research has found to be inflammatory for some people. And finally, N. Some people also benefit from eliminating wheat from their diet. If you have some great health tips that helped you to cure your hand and finger pain, I'd really appreciate it if you could share them down below in the comment section so that we can all benefit in our personal journey to better health. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any health how-to videos where we talk about easy ways to improve your health. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.